Hey, what's going on, guys? To make this rotating text effect in DaVinci Resolve, let's just go ahead and bring our Fusion Composition Clip to the Fusion page, and let's bring in a text node, and let's write our text in the text box, and once that is done, let's go to the Layout tab, and we're going to adjust the Z setting uh, under rotation. We're going to change that to 90. And then let's go back to text. Just adjust the size a little bit so that it fits in the screen. Let's go back to layout. And we're just going to push this text to the left side of our screen. The next thing we're going to do is to bring a duplicate node and then connect that to the text node. The first thing we're going to do is change the number of copies to 40. It doesn't have to be 40, I just want to play it safe. Now let's just push our duplicates out to the right. I want to make sure there is enough space, but not too much space uh, in between each text. All right, so now let's bring a shape 3D node and then let's uh, proceed to bring in a merge as well as a render node. And now guys, we're just getting ready to uh, composite this in the 3D space. Now let's project the merge 3D node onto the screen and then we're gonna go to shape 3D, change shape to cylinder. Now let's go to the transform tab, change the Z setting on the rotation to minus 90. And now uh, let's take a closer look we're going to see that and there's one problem. The text still has really sharp edges there. So let's go to the controls tab and just bring base subdivision all the way up to 100. So this is going to fix that. Now you can see it's much, much smoother. All right. Now, one other issue is that you will notice at the bottom of the cylinder, uh, the space between the two texts there is a little bit uneven compared to the rest. The reason is because these are the first and the last texts from earlier. Uh, so to fix this, what we're gonna do is to actually go back to the duplicate node and then just adjust the center parameter a little bit uh, there until uh, the space between the two is more in line with the rest. All right, so now let's uh, bring in the camera 3D node and we're going to connect that to the merge 3D node. We're also going to change the screen to dual screen. Uh, and we're going to project the 3D space onto the left screen and then project the final uh, output onto the right screen. All right, so now first things first, let's adjust the camera position. We're going to just drag the camera out a little bit and then uh, we can also actually go to a, sh a shape 3D node there, uh, go to transform and then under translation, change the Z setting. Uh, so that will also kind of help uh, adjust the position of the text. So uh, we can also do that. We can also change the size Size of the text itself uh, by adjusting the scale setting but uh, for now uh, we're just going to leave that alone but one glaring issue we're noticing right now is that the text is overlapping so much that it looks absolutely disastrous so to fix this we're going to bring in image plane 3d node connect that to merge a 3d we're going to push this plane probably uh, you will see towards the middle of the calendar the cylinder then let's go to transform and then just bump up the scale setting now let's go to material and we're going to change the color to black so now you guys will see that this is looking way much better and you will see that the position of this plane does matter so uh, i would say ideally probably in the middle or towards the front of the cylinder uh, i think this produces the best uh, results all right guys please don't hate me for doing this but we're actually going to remove this image plane that we just put in because we want to use whatever background that we want right so to do that we are going to bring a bitmap node and we're going to connect that to the render 3d node and in this bitmap node let's change the channel to a luminance and now let's just go ahead and bring a background node you guys will see that not only uh, can we change the color of the text to whatever color we want we also have remove the uh, image plane as well so it's uh, two birds with uh, just one stone all right so now let's uh, bring another background node and we're going to connect that back to uh, this uh, previous background node and you will see that now we can change the background to whatever color that we want or if you don't want to use the background node uh, you can use a video clip as well uh, but the choice is yours and last but definitely not the least, let's animate the rotation. And to do that, we're gonna go to Shape 3D, go to Transform, then under Rotation, let's change the Y setting here. You guys will see this is what will allow uh, the cylinder to rotate. All right, so with that being said, uh, let's uh, keyframe the Y setting at the beginning of this clip. Now let's go to the end of the clip. Let's just bump up this um, setting to whatever number that you like. And if we go back to the edit page, let this effect render, you guys will see that now we have uh, our, uh, our nice little rotating text effects. 
All right, guys. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, as always, I will see you next time.